What is up, Car Addicts? In this video, we're going to be talking about this week's Triple Money Event Week, as well as the property and vehicle discounts. This event week is for November 19th through November 25th, 2020. The current casino podium vehicle is the Overflot Autark. This vehicle is primarily based on the Scuderia Cameron Glickenhaus SCG003. It released about three years ago with the Doomsday Heist DLC update and normally costs about $2 million. The Autark is one of those hidden gems in my opinion that barely anyone uses. It has very good handling and is very easy to drive and extremely forgiving. It has good acceleration as well as decent top speed. This is an awesome all-round car to use in supercar races with lots of turns. It's not the best one, but it's definitely a very awesome car, well within the top 10 supercars and very competitive. But anyways, for those of you who maybe paid full price for the Autark and are angry about it being on the podium, you can still take the one you originally purchased and sell it for roughly $1.3 million depending on your upgrades and of course how much you paid for it originally. Again, to avoid confusion, please note the way you get for the vehicle depends on what you paid for it. The podium vehicle will not sell for any money. I'm specifically referring to the Altark people paid full price for. So is the Altark worth attempting to win by spinning the lucky wheel over and over this week? I'm going to say 100% yes. It's a very competitive supercar that's very easy to drive and normally will cost you about $2 million. So before we get into the discounts guys, I want to remind you that there is a DLC update coming within a few weeks, so I highly recommend holding off on buying anything, even if it's on discount. You want to make sure you're saving up as much money as you can, that should be your main focus for that update that's coming up. But anyways, starting off with the property discounts, we have 30% off the yachts, as well as the upgrades and renovations for them as well. Moving on to the vehicle discounts, we have 30% off the Thrax. So this car is in the supercars class and has decent customization. It has good handling and decent acceleration. However, its top speed is not very good for what it is. The top speed is even lower than the Adder from 2013, which makes it really difficult for it to compete with the top supercars of the class. Moving along, we have 40% off the T20. So this vehicle is in the supercars class and used to be one of the fastest supercars around tracks back in 2015, but it's been five years since then and obviously a lot has changed. Moving on to the Southern San Andreas website, we have 40% off the Segoy. So this vehicle is in the sports class, it has good customization, and the styling in general of the car is pretty awesome in my opinion, it's very close to its real life counterpart, the Civic Type R. However, it's very slow for what it is, and it has awful handling in my opinion from its front wheel drive drivetrain. I feel like the game's mechanics don't really work too well with that car. If you've never driven one in GTA, definitely try it. It's uh, not very fun to drive. It's very annoying in my opinion. Moving on to the Doc T's website, we have 30% off all the boats on this website, which is pretty cool. However, I want to mention that the Kraken you see here that's free that only applies to players from old gen, normally it's not on discount. So if you're not a returning player from old gen, you will not have a discount on the Kraken. So I'm sure some of you are probably wondering what the fastest boat on the Dark Tees website is, and that would be the dinghy. And that's it for vehicle discounts, not too many for this week. I was kind of disappointed that we didn't get any worse stock website discounts for the second week in a row. As far as weapon discounts, the laser weapons are 40% off, which is pretty cool, but I'm sure most of you have these already. For this week, there is an exclusive award for business battles, and that is the Blue Dot Tech Mask. So we have had a few different colored ones in the past, so the mask would pretty much look like this orange one, but obviously in the blue color. Moving on to the Triple Money stuff, we have Triple Money NRP on land races, which is awesome. So to clarify, it is only normal land races. This does not apply to stunt races. Next up, we have Triple Money NRP on the yacht missions. These don't pay out very well, even with double or triple money, but some of them are pretty fun to do. Moving on to the Double Money stuff, we have Double Money NRP on all the contact missions from Gerald, which is awesome. Next up, we have Double Money NRP on the Diamond Adversary Modes and the Running Back Remix Adversary Modes as well. Moving on to the Prime Gaming Discounts for Prime Gaming Members only, I will leave instructions in the pinned comment on how to become a Prime Gaming Member if you aren't one already. 
So we have 80% off the Nightshade, a very beautiful muscle car in my opinion, but it's not fast in any way. The handling is awful, the acceleration is awful, and the top speed is awful. It's again, more of a car for style rather than for speed. Next up, we have 60% off the DR1. So we currently have three F1 cars in game and one Indy car. So the DR1 is that Indy car. It's unfortunately not very competitive with the car at the top of the class, which is the BR8, but it's still a good car to own and drive around if you don't have any open wheel cars. And lastly for Prime Gaming, we have 100% off the Vespucci Canals nightclub making it absolutely free, again, for like the eighth week in a row. Also don't forget that just for logging in this week as a Prime Gaming member, you'll get a free $200,000, which is awesome. Again guys, if you don't see a discount on the Nightshade, the DR1, or the free Vespucci Canals nightclub, it's because you don't have your Prime Gaming account linked to your social club. Again, all the information on how to do that is down below in the pinned comment. And lastly, you have of course the Arch Mandito Time Trial of Vespucci Beach. This week's normal time trial is Cypress Flats. I highly recommend already Pariah, the Tala GTO, the Vest 8, Emerus, or Krieger for that time trial. And this week's premium race is the supercar race downtown underground. I highly recommend either the Emerus, Krieger, Wagner, or S80RR for this race. Also to mention the Altark that's currently on the podium will also be a good choice for this race as well in my opinion. Every Friday I post a guide on how to easily beat the time trials and the premium race, so stay tuned for that if you're new. Anyways guys, hope this was helpful. This event week is not that great in terms of discounts but still pretty decent in terms of the triple and double money. Definitely a decent amount of variety for this week. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.